Juan, and I want to welcome you to my channel where I share with you my journey of learning how to oil paint. Today I have for you a finished portrait. If you haven't seen the block in, I will have a card at this point in time so that you can watch that video if you'd like. Just like the rest of my paintings, this one is far from perfect. In fact, it posed a little bit more of a challenge than the ones that I did right before it. Despite all that, I still had a great time painting it and the challenge definitely helped me to grow as a painter. I would once again like to extend my gratitude to my friend Chastity for allowing me to paint this portrait of her. But that's enough for me. I will leave you to enjoy the video. I hope you like it. I will first start off with giving you a quick review of the block in. With this painting, there really wasn't much to change about the face. It was really more about adjusting colors and values. The block in provided a basic layout of the face, but it ended up giving the painting a very flat look. And so these adjustments needed to be made in order to give the face more form. In the end, it didn't really improve the painting as much as I would have liked, but it definitely provided a little more form to the face. Now, once again, I was lucky enough to be able to work with a subject that was very beautiful. And so I definitely felt pressure to be able to paint a good portrait of her. That pressure ended up getting to me and it affected how the finished painting turned out. Just like my last painting, I did the block in with my regular palette, which was the primaries, white and burnt umber. And then I switched over to the Zorn palette to be able to finish off the painting. I decided to leave the eyes and lips alone, not make any changes to them because I like how they turned out in the block in. One big problem that really became apparent that I've had in the past, but I've never really addressed was that I just wanted to get this painting done. And so I didn't really spend as much time as I should have on any particular area of the painting. And so as a result, the painting ended up not as good as it could have been. I should probably go back and fix some of the areas that need adjustment. But honestly, I've really felt burnt out lately while painting. And so I just wanted to have a finished painting. We'll see if I ever return to this one. Now with the chest and the arms, in the reference photo, they seem to be a lot more pale and with a slight greenish tint to them. And so I had to make that adjustment here. A few days later, as the paint dried, it seemed to me like I didn't get the colors and the values quite right, at least not in the on the right arm because it seems to stick out a little bit. In the last video, I really struggled painting the subject's hands. And here, once again, it was no different. Painting this hand, even though it's only really half a hand, gave me a lot more trouble, or at least it seemed to give me a lot more trouble than painting both hands in the previous painting. I don't really know why. It was just really challenging for me but you know, I pushed through it and I managed to get it to a level that I felt good with it. Once again, I was really burnt out by the end of this painting. So I wasn't really that motivated to try to get this hand as good as it could. That's really my biggest problem. I just, whenever I struggle with a painting, I just want to leave it as it is. Even if it could be better if I just spent more time with it. Now, my last video, I had talked about how in my previous few paintings, hair was really starting to click for me. But I really must have jinxed myself because with this painting, I, I started struggling with it again. Once again, this could have just been as a result of not being in the right mindset, being burnt out and just wanting to have a painting finished. And painting just to finish a painting isn't really a good idea because you just accept what you end up with like in this case because even though I think it turned out all right 
it could have been so much better if I just spent more time with it. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you liked the painting even though it's not one of my best. And as always, if you have any advice or suggestions, please be sure to let me know. That's all I have for now, so I will see you next time. Have a good one.